Good afternoon, world. This is Ivan O'Mara here again. It is 4 o'clock, 3.59 p.m. It's 4 o'clock, pretty much. I just got back from work. Uh, I finished work like 30, 30 minutes ago when I went to the store and I bought my beer and smokes. I have enough for tomorrow to get smokes. I got 20 pack of smokes, obviously. And then the rest of my uh, money's frozen. Yeah, the bank froze like six hundred dollars of my money. Yeah, so I only had two hundred to spend. So I blew two hundred dollars in I don't know four days. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But I get my welfare check either tomorrow or Wednesday. I get it. So yeah, I get my set my last seven hundred dollars. And then once I get my check tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm going to, after work, let's say if I get my check tomorrow, if I get my check tomorrow, I'll walk to the welfare office tomorrow before it closes at 4.30. Let them know right away, yeah, I got a full-time job. How long have I been working there? I've been working there for a month. Why don't you let us know? Yeah, because I wasn't really full-time yet, and then I, I wanted to wait until I got my first check. I just got my check, like, last Friday. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Ivan, that, that, that will be your last check. Is it possible you can still send me checks? Like, small checks? How much, Ivan? Like, I don't know, $40 checks? Or even $20 checks? I, I still want to maintain my welfare benefits. I want to get my teeth cleaned. I want to get my teeth cleaned. You know what I'm saying? I want free medication. Oh, okay, Ivan, we can do that for you. We can send you a $40 check a month, Ivan. How does that sound? Okay, thank you. And I can use that money to pay for my phone. <laughs> pay my phone bill. My phone bill is like 60, 70 bucks a month, obviously. Yeah. I'm off tomorrow, so I'm so happy. The manager gave me tomorrow off. Today was pretty, wasn't too busy. It was pretty, a little, it was a pretty, it wasn't slow, but it wasn't busy. It wasn't that busy. Probably had a good 100 customers today. It wasn't too busy. 100 customers. Weekdays, Coco Fruity gets about 100 customers a day. 100, 120 customers around there. Weekdays, weekends, you get like 250, 300 customers. It's crazy busy on weekends. And I'm off tomorrow. I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow. And I work three days straight. He's going to make me work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Obviously, Friday my check on freezes, so I'm gonna once it on freezes, I'm gonna immediately put two hundred in my savings, and then the rest I have like three ninety to blow for like for for another week, and then next Friday I get paid. <laughs> That's why I love working. Is working every second week you get paid. It's awesome. Every second week you get your check, which is nice. I got like my eight hundred dollar check, my seven seventy. Almost eight hundred dollar check every two weeks, yeah. Which is a nice one. I can easily save more. I can easily save like four hundred a paycheck. Obviously, in, uh, but I save four hundred a paycheck, but I only have three ninety to spend for two weeks, which I'll blow. I'll blow it in, in the two weeks. I need at least a good like four fifty plus, man. For two weeks to, 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 to be to be good. If I want to get my my beer and smokes and get like my food. I need at least like four fifty bucks to spend for like two weeks. And that's why I don't. I, I only need to save like three grand, like two thousand dollars. There's no point in me saving ten grand. What am I gonna buy that with? I mean, I could buy an electric scooter with that, but I mean, chances are by the end of the year I'll save like maybe three, four, five grand. By the end of the year. Because chances are the government will be sending me che other checks. I remember this the last Christmas I got a $600 check. So chances are may maybe um, sometime this year they're gonna, I might get other checks too. I'm going to put a good chunk of that in my savings. My welfare check I'm putting 500 out of my savings. And I'm blowing 200 So when I cash in my check, the 200 I have to spend for the one week, I'll blow that. And then the 500 left over I put that in my savings so I have like 700 
in my savings off the bat. And then my next paycheck, I have 900 saved. I almost have $1,000 saved. Yeah, I'm going to save a good maybe three, four grand this year. By the end of the year, I'll save like maybe 3000 3500 I'll save. And I'll have enough to get my book edited. Obviously. I'll have enough to get my book edited. <laughs> I'll have enough to get my book edited. Obviously, next year. I gotta finish up my license too. Um, I would've had my license by now, I'm an idiot. I gotta go back to the place to finish my license. I'm only going to make a one hour video, guys. I'm only going to make a one hour video. <sighs> yeah, I'm a little tired. Today was a little busy, but I mean, I was very fast. Um, towards the end of your shift, that's when you wash the most dishes because that's when they bring in all the kitchen dishes. They bring all the kitchen dishes. You got to wash all that. And you got to wash the leftover dishes. From the, from the customers, obviously. It usually takes me a good 50 minutes to clear the whole dish pit. But what I do towards the end of my shift, my, my primary goal is to get all the dishes cleaned. And I just stack them on, on the side. That's the best thing to do. If you want to get it done quick, make sure you get as much dishes with the machine as possible. That way you know it's all cleaned. And you stack them on the side, on the other side. And once the dish pit's cleared, you can now take the stuff and stack all the dishes. Stock all the dishes in the white. Stock all the dishes in the... Uh... Stock all the dishes in the white. Stock all the dishes in the, uh... Stock all the dishes in the what? <laughs> in the kitchen, obviously. The day he made me mopped again, too. The other, the other line guy mopped most of the front, most of the, uh, the, the, the main area. But I mopped a, a bit of it, and I helped him out a little bit. I helped him out with the kitchen, too. Obviously, because I told you, the manager, he slacks the fuck up, obviously. He sits in his office, he just counts, he does the accounting, he counts the money, and he makes, he makes, what, me or the other line guy do, obviously. Because he's lazy, I told you, man. I told you, that's the reality of working in a restaurant business, man. Everybody's gonna slack off, they're all gonna slack off, man. They're all going to slack off. Why? Because they're getting what? Shitty. They're not. They don't, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah, you, you don't. I'm only getting paid fifty k a year. I'm not gonna kill my body. I'm gonna make the. I'm gonna make the what? The line cook do it. I'm gonna make the dishwasher mop the front because they're lazy. They don't want to do it. Obviously. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's funny because. Every time, you know what I'm saying, like, sometimes the managers, they give you shit, obviously. You make sure you work hard. I'm like, what about you? You know what I mean? Like, I, I wa don't hate me. No. So I wash the dishes. You easily have enough time to, to mop the restaurant, and you sit in your fucking office for, like, 40 minutes, and you have me fucking mop it, and the other line guy mop it. Well, you can easily do it yourself. And they get, they always, they give you crap for being lazy. Make sure you do this and do that. I'm like, what about you? <laughs> you fucking hypocrite. <laughs> fucking hypocrite, I'm saying. Yeah, man. Obviously. Look, man, the boss tells you just me listen to him, obviously. But it, it, it does, sometimes it does get under my skin when they you know, they get mad at you. Make sure you work hard. And I catch you slacking off, too, like a lot of times, too. Yeah, man. Fucking hypocrites, yo. 
I mean, why it's like, oh, because they don't get, I don't get, they, they don't get paid enough for that. I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> you make 50k a year, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're still gonna slack off. They'll work hard, but they're gonna slack off a little bit, man. They're not gonna work as hard. Yeah, I'm not gonna, fuck this. I'm not mopping the fucking front for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna kill my body. I don't get paid enough for this shit. I'll have the line cook do it. I'll have the dishwasher do it. Yeah. Because they're a bit lazy, obviously. See what I'm saying? They're a bit lazy, obviously. They're lazy, see what I'm saying? They work hard, but they're going to slack off, man. All the kitchen staff are going to slack off. All the dishwashers are going to slack off. Because they don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah. Like me, I work hard, but sometimes I slack off too. I slack off a little bit, obviously. I catch all the guys slacking off. They don't clean this. They don't clean that because what? I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah. Seems there. I work hard, but sometimes I slack off too. I'm so happy I'm off work tomorrow, man. I don't have any work tomorrow. I'm off. I get my welfare check either tomorrow or Wednesday. I get it. Usually it comes in the second last day or the or the last day of the month. If it ends on a weekday. If it ends on a weekend, I get it the Friday before the end of the weekend. So I get my welfare check either tomorrow or Wednesday. And if I don't get it, that means my step-parents stole my money. Which they're not going to do, obviously. It's not their money, obviously. I, that, that's my money. I get it either tomorrow or Wednesday. So if I don't get it tomorrow, that means after work Wednesday, I should find my welfare check waiting for me. And I'll cash that. And I'll put 500 in my savings and blow 200 for the rest of the week. And then I got to go to the office and let the welfare come back to normal right away. Obviously. I don't want to get in trouble with the government. You can't, you can't work and be collecting welfare checks. You're, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to let welfare come back to normal right away. Once you get a full-time job. The welfare back is only for people who don't work. They, they, once you work, they no longer they no longer obligate to send you checks anymore. So, uh, I mean, do, you, do you miss collecting welfare checks? I miss the only thing I miss about collecting welfare checks is that I don't I didn't have to work. I just sat at home and just chilled. I can make a video, chill, get beer and smokes, chill. But what sucks about Wolfric Effect, you gotta wait 30 days for each of your checks. 30 days is a long time to wait, man. A month you gotta wait for each check. It's, I'm like, this is fucking annoying waiting a month. And the moment my younger said brother bailed on me with my book, I'm like, yeah, fuck this. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a job, a full-time job. And God protected me. I was able to get a job right here in Elmer, man. I always wanted to get a job in Elmer, whereby it's convenient for me. Everything's easier for me. I'm done work. I walk home. I don't have to take the bus. I remember when I worked at Chorus, it took me like an hour and like 20 minutes, 30 minutes just to fucking get home. It was crazy long, man. You know what I'm saying? When I worked at Beer Market, it took me 30 minutes to get home. And now it takes me, it's like a 13, 14 minute walk from home and I'm home. I walk and I'm home. Everything's slack. I want to get beer. It's right across the street. The Ultimar, I get my beer. I walk to the subway, I get my subway, I walk to the shawarma, I get my shawarma, I walk home. And everything's sick of being for me. Yeah, it's nice working when you know you're working in Elmer, your hometown Elmer, and it's close by home. You can just walk like 14 minutes away, it's not even slack. So whenever I sleep, I can, I can literally sleep in like 30 minutes before I start my shift. I can still make it on time because I don't live far, I don't live far away from Grover Hoodie. I just walk straight. Down Colleen, turn right, two streets in, I turn left, and I'm, I'm home. <laughs> yeah. I got 14 minute walk from Coco Rudy. I was, I was lucky because the time I, I, I applied, the other their, their dishwasher was sick, obviously. They needed a dishwasher badly. That's why the guy hired me on the spot. He said, Can you work tomorrow? I'm like, uh, Sure. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. And I came in and I started my shift. Like three weeks ago, I started, three and a half weeks ago, I started working at Grover Reed. Yeah. Seems 
Is that right? I'm only going to make a one hour video, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> now, after this, I'll do some yard work, maybe, for for maybe 30 minutes. i got to work on the lawn. And I'm two dollars. I'm like a dollar short of a 20 pack. I hope I get my warfare check tomorrow. That way I can get my beer and smokes. But I, don't think, I think I'm going to get it Wednesday. When I work Wednesday at 10, so. The reason why I blew most of my two hundred dollars was I knew I was getting my welfare check like either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm gonna get it. So yeah, yeah. Ivan, will your team slack off? Of course they're going to slack off sometimes. Some days they might kick back with the business calls. I'll just do this business call tomorrow. Sometimes they might be a bit lazy, obviously. The 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 the, the, the time they're going to slack off the most is second year. Second year, third year, when I'm not looking. When me and Weijer are not looking, that's when they're going to slack off more. Because there's a saying, whenever the, the boss is not there, the employees tend to kick back a bit and they, stick and they, they take advantage and they can slack off a little bit more. Because I'm paying them a lot of money, they're still going to work hard for me. Obviously. They're going to come on time to work. They're going to work hard because I'm paying them a rich salary. Look, man. Ivan's paying us a lot of money. we got to work hard for me. Yes, I'm paying a lot of money. you got to work hard for me. This is not some minimum wage job at Coco Food where I'm paying you 15 an hour. I'm paying you guys a rich... What? A rich salary. I expect you to work hard. I'm saying. See, if, you, if you're getting paid minimum wage, you're expected to work hard, but I can understand why the employees slack off a little bit sometimes. They slack the fuck off sometimes because they don't, they don't get paid. I don't get paid enough for this shit. They don't get paid enough money. But the moment I'm paying you a million dollars a year or two million dollars a year, your big bonuses, I'm giving you rollies, I'm giving you nice perks and all. So if you're living the dream life, driving your nice cars, your Porsches, your BMWs, your Benzes, your SUVs, your Ferrari, Lamborghinis, you bought your multi-million houses, you're living that dream life. The perks, obviously, I expect you to work hard for me, Sarah. Yeah. Right, when you work hard, I'll work hard, but I'm not going to do as much work as the other guys. I'm the boss. I'm the one, I'm the one paying your fucking salary. I'm the fucking boss. Because I'm the boss and I'm paying you a salary out of my, I'm paying you a salary out of my pocket... What? I'm not going to do as much work as you, obviously. That's what I'm saying. Just like the reason why the manager of Coco Fruity, he slacks off more because he's the boss, obviously. He's a general. He's a, he, well, he's not the... He's the boss, but he, he doesn't own the restaurant, but he's a general manager. Because he's a general manager and he has power, he's the boss over everyone at the restaurant, obviously. He's obviously going to take advantage of the other guys and make them do more of the work, obviously. And that's why he barely mops the restaurant. He makes me do it. Or he makes the other line guys do because he's fucking lazy, man. Yeah, man. Because <laughs> he's lazy, you know what I'm saying? Every time I always see him, he, he cleans a bit of the kitchen. The other guy does cleans more of the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? He cleans like the like maybe a couple like maybe two of the counters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he preps some of the food, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I always see him. He goes in his office. You know what I'm saying? He goes in his office. He counts the money for like 40 minutes. He just chills. And he makes the other line guy. The other line guys are forced to mop the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The one, the, the one line guy who worked who worked today, he actually works hard. The one who worked today with me, that he, he's a, he's a, he's, he works like seven days a week there. That line guy actually works really hard. Was the other ones that are not as hard workers as him. They slack off of him with a bit more lazy. Whereas he actually works hard, yeah, that guy. He he went out there. He mopped. He mopped the the, the most of the uh, the restaurant. I helped him out a little bit. I helped him out quite a bit, but he he mopped most of the restaurant, and I helped him out. Obviously, whereas the general manager, he, he barely mops. He's lazy as fuck. Obviously, fuck man. I don't want to mop the fucking restaurant for thirty minutes. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah, man. That's why he makes me do it. Or he makes the other... He either makes the, the other line guys do it. 
because he's lazy, obviously, or he makes me do it because he's lazy. Yeah, all right, but when you're done, when you when the dish pit area is clean, we'll go out, go out and mop the front. And I was like, oh fuck, man! I was like, I have to help. I help the other. I have to help the other guy out today. Yeah. Mopping the restaurant is not that bad. It's not like mopping is is, is not as bad as sweeping. The, the waiters have to sweep the whole restaurant. That's even worse. Mopping is not as bad as sweeping, but it's annoying sweeping the whole, uh, mopping the whole restaurant. It's annoying, obviously. No one wants to do that. He doesn't want to do it, or hence why he makes me do it. Because he, he's like, I don't get paid enough for this shit. That's why he makes me do it, obviously. Easy, have me clock in. Yeah, Ivan, when you're done, clock in and leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ivan, when you're done, clock in and leave. You know what I'm saying? Take out the garbage, and then you can clock out and leave. Oh, no, Ivan, before you leave, mop the front. You can easily do it, but he doesn't want to do it because he's lazy. He's lazy. Yeah, and you give me shit about slacking off sometimes. Make sure you work hard. I'm like, what about you? You can easily mop the fucking kitchen, and you won't mop it. You make me do it because you're fucking lazy. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is he a hard worker? Yeah, dude, he's a hard worker. They're all hard workers, man. I told you, everyone at the restaurant will slack off a little bit, man. That's the reality of working at a restaurant. They're all going to slack off. They don't get paid enough, man. Look, man, money talks. If you pay a general manager 50k, go work his ass off for you, but he's, he's going to slack off. He's going to slack off. He's going to slack off. Guaranteed. He's, he's going to slack off with some things, obviously. Some Sarah? The line guards are going to slack off. The dishwashers are going to slack off. You see what I'm The waitresses are going to slack off. You know how many times I catch the waitresses, they don't dump all their food? You know how the waitresses are supposed to dump all the food in the garbage? You know how many times I, 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 I wash the dishes and the, the plates are not fully dumped? Because the waitresses are lazy too, yeah. They all slack off because they, they don't get paid enough, man. I don't get paid enough for this shit, yeah. Whereas if you pay the 150k, they're going to work really hard for you. They're going to work really, really hard for you. You're going to see all the chefs, the head chefs, the dishwashers, how hard they're going to work for me. When you see the behind the scenes of my movie... When you see the uh, the kitchen staff, you're going to see them working hard. They have to make a lot of food because you're looking at like 500 crew members. You're looking at three sections of 500 people plus, man. That's a lot of people. And it's a buffet, so you got to make a lot of food. It's a lot of work. you got to clean the kitchen. you got to rotate the food. you got to prep the food. It's a lot of work. That's why the head chefs, I'm paying them the most money because they're doing the most work. Out of all the, uh, out of all my main guys, they're doing the most work. The photographers are, are, are important because they're, 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 they're the people who take pictures for your company, obviously. The web design and graphics are important, but the chefs are very important. They're the people who cook the food for your entire cast and crew, man. They're feeding your crew, and they're very important. They prep the food, they cook the food. The dishwashers got to wash the dishes. A lot of work, man, yeah. And if you pay the dishwashers one for the game, they're going to work really hard. Like, really, really hard. They're going to work hard, man. Hard. You're looking at something crazy. Like, 500 crewmen per section, obviously. So, if I hire Eric Chong, I'm going to let him know, yeah, make sure you guys prep the food. You're going to have to have chefs prepping food for dinner, dessert, and breakfast every day. Every time you put the food in the fridge, you got you got to always rotate it. Old ones in front, new ones in the back. He knows that. He owns a restaurant. He knows about that, obviously. That's right. For the head chefs, have someone who owns a has who, who owns a restaurant who has that experience. The head chefs to qualify for the head chef position, you have to own a restaurant. Some Sarah, yeah. Some Sarah. You have to own a restaurant, yeah. And they'll work hard for me. You're going to see how hard the chefs are going to work for me. The dishwashers. Now, the dishwashers. The dishwashers, you can just have people who work on Lord of the Rings to be... Anyone can be a dishwasher, right? Just have have some of the crewmen who work in Lord of the Rings just be your, to be your dishwashers. For the chefs, you can have some of the guys who worked on Lord of the Rings and some of the people who maybe worked on Hell's Kitchen to be your chefs. Pay them one fifty thousand dollars salary. Obviously, so down. 100k the third year, they'll start work third year, 
they have to work seven days a week. Seven days a week, they got to work. A lot of workmen. You pay them $100,000 a year for the third year and 50000 for the fourth year. It's a good deal for them. They're going to be making a lot of working every day, seven days a week. But I'm giving them like an hour and a half, two hour breaks. That way they're not stressed out. So to take the stress off the crewmen and chefs, they make food in the morning and then when it's break time, some of them get breaks and the other ones get breaks after. So you get like a, a two hour break and you got to go back to work and work, prep food all day. It's a lot. All day they're working. They're, they start work around like, I don't know, seven in the morning, six in the morning. Seven in the morning, they got to start prepping and making food. Something for, for, they got to get ready for breakfast. And they end around 9, 10 o'clock every day at night. A lot of work. But I'm paying one for the kids. I expect you to work hard. And they'll work hard for me, obviously. Because I'm paying a lot of money. Make sure the kitchen's always clean. Make sure your dishes are always clean. Make sure you always roll your food. Make sure you take out the garbage. Every time the garbage bin's full, make sure you take out the garbage. Make sure it's clean. That's why you need to have chefs to, 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 to manage the kitchen, obviously. Because I won't have time to manage the kitchen. I'll be busy filming the movie. I'm the boss. While well, we busy, I don't have time for that. That's why you gotta have your head chefs like Eric Chong if he's hired. Have him manage the kitchen, and he'll do a good job. He he, he commands the kitchen. Tim Sarah. He commands the kitchen, obviously. Yeah, I know all you see this people want to work for me, but look, man. I don't have time to look at like 10,000 resumes. My team doesn't have time to look at it. Hence why to make it easier, just have the ones who work on the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit to work for your uh, Zanes movie. That way it's easier on my team. And they all sign up. Seems there. Like I'll talk about the government topic next, Spark Eyes. <laughs> for 30 minutes. You're going to see John Favreau do Filoni of Iron and how boss they are. You're going to see how boss my seven team is. Third year, John Favreau and Filoni are the boss. Peter Romello are the boss of the movie. They're the boss, man. Yeah. They're commanding everyone. Yeah. Holy shit, John. They were a boss. Peter is boss. Mel's boss. Yeah. My like, guys, if P Peter is the boss, man. If he tells you to do something, all the crewmen have to listen to him. Yeah, they have to listen to Peter, obviously. Like, Peter, man, don't be fucking lazy. I'll, like... Put put in the work and help out help out the, the team with the with the business man. Don't be lazy. Like you don't have to do as much work as them, but help them out a little bit. Don't be lazy. I don't pay you ten million for nothing. Oh well, I don't work hard. I work pretty hard. Because I pay him his ten million dollars, obviously. Don't be fucking lazy, Peter. And you help them out, yeah. Did everything come in? Did all the food come in? Did the trailers come in? All the trailers and the portable showers come in. Tables and chairs. Kitchen equipment. You know what I'm saying? The cameras. All the stuff for the sets. The tools for the sets. They all come in. Yeah, they have to keep track of all that. A lot of work. there yeah I'm happy because I get my welfare check tomorrow or Wednesday I just pray to God my step parents don't steal my money man because I think my two dollar check they stole that I they, I hope they better not have stolen my uh, steal my welfare check man like like you know what I'm saying yeah man give me a break yeah. I'll know if they stole or not. If I don't get it by the 31st, I'm gonna hey, I'm like, hey, where's my check? You know what I'm saying? They're like, uh it didn't come in, no bullshit, it came in, someone took it. Obviously, where is my check? It's my money, not yours, obviously. They won't steal it though. They'll let me though the it was his idea to let me get the seven hundred dollar check. 
I was gonna tell them last last week. He's like, no, wait till you get your last check. So he won't steal it, obviously. But I'm kind of worried he might steal it. I don't know. Because my two for dollar check didn't come in yet. So chances are he either locked it or he stole it. He most likely locked it. Make sure he doesn't get the money, and he might have to send that, obviously. But I mean. Yeah. That's my comment would be top notch. Best brand in the industry. And make sure you pay your actors direct deposit. Don't pay them check. See if you're work if you're paying them minimum wage, you can pay them check because you're not handling a lot of money. But at the moment you're paying them like they're getting fat checks like one hundred thousand, ninety thousand, eighty thousand you know what I'm saying? One twenty, one thirty, two hundred thousand dollars checks. You gotta pay them direct deposit. That's a lot of money. The moment you're paying the crewman one fifty k, they're getting twenty two thousand plus dollar checks. You gotta pay them direct deposit. That way, no one you don't have to worry about anyone losing their money. That's why you gotta make sure you put money into an advanced payment system to pay your actors, and your crewman and your seventeen. Whereas me and VJ Amazon will be sending us royalties, uh, monthly royalties. Obviously. Via Amazon Pay, whatever it is. They have something called Amazon Pay. Amazon will send me each of the royalties every, like, month. Either two weeks a month. I think Amazon sends you monthly royalties, too. Like, PayPal does for Lulu, for Lulu. But, I mean, yeah. Pay them direct deposit. Don't pay them checks. We don't have to worry about the actors complaining about their checks being lost or stolen. Because if an actor loses a check, you have to recompensate him. So let's say you owe him one twenty, one thirty thousand dollars. He loses that check. You have to take one thirty k out of your pocket to pay him his one thirty thousand dollars by a weekly check, and you don't want to do that. Hence, why pay them direct deposit. Put six hundred k into a super advanced payment system to pay your stars for your Zanes movie, to pay Peter, to pay your crewman, to pay your seven team. Now we don't have to worry about people complaining about their checks and all stuff. Hence, my Scott is going to be the best money in your industry. It's been crazy. Yeah, man. Shut my camera here.